Hello everyone, welcome to the Logical Fallacy, and welcome to what looks like it's gonna be a very interesting game. So this is a game called, Is This Game Trying to Kill Me? And this is actually a prequel to a game that hopefully will be releasing a full game, um, but this is a sort of demo uh, to that game, but it's a sort of isolated prequel. Um, so I thought we'd check this out and look into exactly what it is. What caught my eye with this one, though, is that the style of the game looks very similar to uh, Daniel Mullen's games. Uh, and if you're not familiar with that, that's the creator of games like Pony Island and Inscription, which are absolutely fantastic. But it's this very interesting style uh, where you're kind of playing an in-universe game and it's like an escape room. Uh, because, like, the things you're doing affect what you're, um, what's happening around you. And I thought that was really cool. I love those kinds of games. So I thought we'd check this out. This looks really well done. Uh, I actually ended up playing a little bit of it, actually, but the recording got lost, uh, which is fine. So we're just going to restart it. Um, so I do have a little bit of knowledge of a little bit of the game. I didn't get too far into it, but, um... But overall, it looks absolutely really, really cool. So no power connected, so we have to go turn on the power. So as you can see, it's kind of similar to, um, you know, Inscription, where it's like an escape room, but you have like a central game that's happening within that that affects everything else and will allow us to unlock different parts of the room, uh, which I really like. It's kind of also similar to like Amanda the Adventurer, in that way, so we're going to turn on the power. Oh. Okay, there you are. And now you will die, you non-entity. It's very rude. I am an entity. I think. Aha! You are you scared? Nah. Are you supposed to be like a snake thing? I don't know. I really like the design of that character, though. I'm just kidding. It would be rude to kill a guest right away. Yes, it would. Please just don't do that at all. But then again, you see the title of the game. You know what's up. Yes, it looks like you have to stay with me for a while. You don't think about continuing your journey in such a downpour, do you? But what should we do? Oh, I've got it. Do you like games... A game that's trying to kill me? I have a special one just for you. Moreover, if you can pass it, you will receive a reward, also special. And if you're unlucky, well, I don't think your disappointment will last long. You know what? Fair enough. Sounds like this game could be fun. Good luck, Wanderer. I'll keep an eye on you. I really like the that character design. Like, that's really, really cool. Um, so I guess we should... Oh, sorry about that. Guess we should get into the game. Castle Serpent... I, I still don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, but so, like, we can look around the room while we're in the game. Things will change, so we'll see. You are standing among the ruins of an ancient castle. Somewhere below them, in the depths of the dungeon, countless treasures are stored. Why not try to find them? Alright. You know, for the aesthetic, we're a, a very normal looking person. You know, you'd think we'd be in like a suit of armor for the way that this, this kind of like castle environment looks. Alright, we can't get in there. And as you saw, like, um... I've already kind of played a little bit through this, uh, unfortunately, uh, before my recording kind of broke, so I do know a little bit of what happens. Uh, so, we'll try to get caught up. A pile of human bones, do you want to check them out? Yes, you have found the key. You open the chest, but there's nothing inside. That's bad luck. Ah, but you see, our chest. I bet that has something in it. So let's go check it out. So we have this, 
which we can actually put on the skeleton. There you go. There you go, sir. Alright. This is really cool, like the aesthetic of everything. I love the way this is blended together, especially since everything kind of around it is very pixelated and it all has this unique style to it. I just very very aesthetically it, it fits well together. Well, look around, boy, or you'll lose your head like me. Ha <laughs> ha. What? Do you want to know how I died? Let me think. First, I activated the green lever, then the blue, and then I pulled the red lever. I don't remember anything else. Okay, so it was the green... It was the, uh... Green, blue, and the red. And I'm gonna... I'm, this is incorrect. I know this is incorrect because I've already failed recording. Unfortunate, but it happened. So I'm gonna do that just so you guys can see what happens when you die. Because uh, I think it's cool. So. Oh. Well, you know. I really like that uh, game over screen. That's really cool. Okay, so that starts us back over here. So we do have to do this part over again, but it's it's fine. So now we know what the uh, correct thing to do here is. We need to do the green, then the blue, yellow, red. Make sure nothing's changed. Alright. And now we can go here. Okay. changing in here. Was that like that before? I don't know. Okay. Oh, interesting. I think, uh, hmm. So there's a puzzle here. Okay, that can move. Interesting. What are we trying to do? Wonder. 
what are we trying to do here? So we have these three. Huh. Is there something around here that changed? don't really see anything. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. So, it's corner, corner, middle. So, I need to do corner. This goes middle. Right? Nope. That was very violent. It was very like, like, very like sudden. Okay, so we have three switches here. Let's wait on that. Oh, interesting. So it's changed. Do I need to? So it's red, green, blue. Red. Green. Huh? What does that do? Oh, hold on. I see, so green is this. That's cool. That's a cool little puzzle, I like that. All the puzzles here are uh, very interesting, I like them. All right, red, so that highlighted the fish. All right, where's red? Okay, so that's already there. So then the final one, yeah, is just blue. Okay, so I can now go through here. All right, loading. Insert a coin to continue. the coin. Interesting. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. So it's, uh, hmm. hold on. Let me do this back so that that's not highlighted. So it's... I didn't mean to do that. Crap. Okay. That. Okay. Then it's... So then that's uh, F and the final symbol. So it's F. Okay. So based on that, right, it should be, yep. So done. That, that. And then it should be. Um, the next one would be, uh, 
there. Right? Was that right? Hmm. Maybe I've got something wrong. The first one is, uh, hold on, let's reset it. Um, so it's F. We see the final one down there, so it's um, right. We did that, and then it's um, these two symbols. Unless I'm getting them mixed up, I don't think I am. Must be getting something mixed up here. There we go. Oh. Oh, that's cool. So now there's like a whole new area. There's cheese again. No matches. Coin. Okay, so we have the coin now. So now we can enter the uh, new area. Do you want to leave? Let's uh, let's explore. See if anything is here. There's a lot here. Let's look at those chests behind me full of gold and jewels. If you can't complete the game, they're yours. You didn't think I was deceiving you about the reward, did you? Huh. Okay, so we got it, you know, we got our motivation. All right, let's get back in here. Yes. Did anything change immediately? Ah, oh. something about this board definitely makes you weary. Oh, I thought something had changed. No. Perhaps his gaze or an unusual pattern on its skin. Or maybe the hand of the previous adventure which he is gnawing with appetite. <laughs> Anyway, it's better to stay away from him. Okay. Oh. Uh. What am I looking for? Am I just avoiding the. Like a blast radius? Quite uh, sudden. Okay. So let's uh, let's try that again. Oh, okay. So there, I was wondering about that. So I wondered if there was like a blast radius to it, and there uh, there definitely is. So that's that's what we need to keep keep weary of. Good here. Alright, we're good still. Looks like it's four four block radius. Okay. Need to be like over here. Okay, so we should be good.
All right. That was quite uh, quite interesting. Okay, so we got a coin. Uh, does that give us like an opportunity to do anything? Okay. I like the uh, the interactions we're getting. That's uh that's cool. So this okay. So yeah, we got so we got three mini games to do. Stop, wanderer. Only a true believer can go to the altar of the true and saint snail. Wait, you say you're one of them? Then prove it. Give her three gifts. Okay, so that must be the... Oh. Well, we tried. We tried and failed. Seems like certain death. I don't think we can go anywhere. That doesn't seem like a. Uh... It seems like pretty solid death. So I'm wondering if, um, hmm, maybe there's something we have to do here. Not quite, okay, here we go. So that's the sort of reward we get for this area. We also have these, uh, like, pieces of cheese. I am wondering what we do with that. H, I, I'm realizing, is probably for hint. Okay, so we have another X here. Okay. So I'm wondering what we do... So we died again. Something we're activating. So we have to figure out, figure out what we're doing. Interesting. Okay, so we gotta. Maybe we have to talk to you again. Keep away from it. I didn't try this one, because certain death. I'm not sure exactly what we do here. To be expected, you know. So clearly there's something out here that we need to work with. I thought there was maybe something out here. Okay, something down. A lot of cans. Then we have these. Oh, there's also a book. Oh, and there's another piece of cheese. We have three of these. Three is typically the magic number whenever it comes to puzzles. So there's something we can do with these. Okay. I didn't know if maybe... something back. Okay, I can't leave. So there's got to be like a clue. 
Malibu or something. Wait, hold on. Oh, the cheese. Okay. I understand what I'm supposed to do now. So I had the right idea, actually. I was doing the exact right thing. I think I'm supposed to put it in... It's, uh, not exactly dropping in there. We can get it, though. Oh, come on. Just need to go, needed to go in there. There we go. All right. Exactly right. So we actually had the right idea. All right. You can pass. All right. I'm wondering if we can interact with that now. So let's see what we have in here. Okay, there must be something that we're... interact with that still. Oh, I can take... I I don't think these were interactable before. Okay. Oh, these are giving us blocks to go across. Okay. Hold on. be nice. Let me see if that works. Unless there's some other blocks we can find. Okay. So that's that's cool. That's cool. I, I like that. Um, also a really good mechanic. Okay. We should be able to do something now. Here it is. Okay, so we have... Oh. I don't know if we were... Uh, match. Okay, so what are we supposed to light? Okay. Well, that's doing something. Did that give us something when we dropped the uh, the urn? All right, back into it. Okay, that didn't do anything there. So seemingly, oh, oh, so this is on now. So there should be one other thing we can interact with. Wait, hold on. Okay, maybe it's telling us... Um, there we go. Okay. And then the second thing is uh, green. 
something that looks green. There it is. Um. Red. Okay. Hold on, did I mess up? Oh, I think I did. Crap. Two is the, the, the funnel thing? Yeah, I think I messed up here. Okay, I think I'm gonna die now. Well... Darn it. Okay. What's that final thing, though? That looks kind of weird. Uh, these things are everywhere, so I feel like I should be able to find it. Something interactable. exactly what it's saying that it is. Is it saying to put uh, I'm not quite sure. Oh hold on. Oh I thought it might have been one of like these. Didn't look like that was it. Oh, there it is. Okay. So we need to do these. Then this. Um. Then this. Okay, and then the green one. Of course, now I'm seeing these everywhere. Where's that green one? Maybe I'm sitting. Oh, it's right here. There we go. Okay, so that should be able to do something. Okay, that didn't do anything for us there. Oh, here it is. Oh. Are you kidding me? Okay, so we gotta do that again because we did it wrong or dropped it. More, more accurately, we dropped it. Which was dumb of us. do we give this to? Equals death. Throw. What? <laughs> well, we killed it. Okay. I wonder if we'll have to use that again. Okay, so that killed the pig. Well, I guess it's like a hog. Oh! In the depths of the dungeon, you finally find a treasure trove. You are surrounded by many chests filled with gold and precious stones. It looks like your adventure has come to an end. Okay. 
I'm sure this won't end terribly. Okay, so this is from the developer. You have completed free prequel game. Uh, is this game trying to kill me? Thanks for the uh, for the game. We hope you enjoyed it. The sequel to the story is going to be released in 2024. Okay, so that's soon. Uh, well, I mean, that's obviously this year. And we can see, yeah, so a lot of inspiration seemingly from uh, Dan Daniel Mullins, uh, or at least, you know, uh, the, the, the general idea, ideas, you know, and I really liked it. That was some solid execution as well. I really liked it. Um, that was really cool. Uh, I really liked some of the mechanics. Like, the mechanics were all really, really nice. Um, very unique and creative as far as those. Because, like, the way you have the game interacting with the world around you, that was really cool. And it, was, it wasn't, it was like, um, like, uh, you know, too, tip, too difficult or too easy, you know. But it was genuinely easy to process. And it wasn't like completely difficult and like not um, easy to like complete the puzzles or anything. Like they were pretty well, um, you know what I'm trying to say. Like they weren't too challenging. Uh, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.